When unexplained things happen, when the unexplained happens. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe. Channel names are pinned to the top of the comment section or description box below. When unexplained things happen, well, you know, I've had a lot of things that just didn't add up, that didn't make sense. I call it the electrical thing. If you've listened to any of my videos or my postings, I've, I've had it kind of my whole life. And yet one of the things I've also come to realize when electrical things happen to me, so to speak, as I call them, or things that are just not coming together or unexplained events that are not seeming to work in my favor, things that are holding me up, I believe that's because something good is meant to happen and yet we're getting in its way, so to speak. You know, even on my YouTube channel, I would go from channel to channel and try to grow my channel and, you know, I would try to, um, you know, go up on panels to make sure that everybody saw me and all that. I don't do that anymore. Um, it was just, I had a number of things that kind of happened, like one of where my live stream would, would not turn off. And I know it sounds silly and you probably say, oh, well, that could happen to anybody. And yeah, it could and probably does or whatever. But um, it was just a number of different things. And I said, you know what? I feel like I'm being led to let go and just do what I'm meant to do because I was trying to be on live streams all the time, trying to do my content, trying to live my in-person life. And it was a lot. And I just felt that I was not meant to be doing live streams, at least not at the level that I was doing them. And so those things, kind of those mishaps, so to speak, of where I couldn't shut down the stream or where my uh, notifications weren't being sent out and all of that, um, or the stream yard was cutting me off or whatever, um, or coming in and out. I just said, you know what? That's kind of my sign that I need to refine, my sign to refine, that I need to make some changes and let go of some things and move forward. What may have worked well in the past may not be to my best benefit going forward. There is likely something better for me and a way to do it going forward. So that was kind of a little example with my YouTube channel. And so, and yet it can happen in any area of life. You know, perhaps you feel, I remember one time I was in a roommate situation and it was great, it was great. And then I realized they wanted this, this, this one roommate wanted this other person, it was a best friend of hers to move in. And so it became kind of uncomfortable there. And so I ended up finding another apartment and found my own place. And I loved my new place. Something better was to come along. So beforehand, that kind of, I don't want to call it, you know, it was just kind of things were not working. And that was pushing me forward. Sometimes it pushes us just to refine and make ourselves better and go to that next level. Other times it is change. Sometimes we need to do less of something or more of something. Um, it just all depends. And yet I think sometimes, often, when things happen that are unexplained, they're for a purpose, they're for a reason. They're there to push us forwards um, or even sometimes hold us back so that we can kind of wait for our blessing. Maybe we're moving too quickly and there's other things that need to take place so that our blessing can come. Either way, I look at it as a blessing, as a blessing. Sometimes when unexplained things take place and I don't understand them, um, that there's something, there's a reason for it and it's actually going to better things as we go forward. It may change things or it may refine things. And yet I think when unexplained events take place, there is an explanation. And often it's an explanation we may not be able to see up front. And yet it's a good explanation. And it's something that's meant to refine us and perhaps change us or even send us in a new direction. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe. And I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.